Despite proclaiming their innocence, the results from the drug swab test are alarmingly high. It's very, very high. We need to, we need to look at this a bit more, I think. At Gatwick Airport, officers use sniffer dogs to find traces of drugs being imported illegally from countries with strong links to the drugs trade. If the dog makes a positive indication, passengers are pulled aside in the customs channels so they can be searched further. One such passenger is a young male who's returning from a holiday with his girlfriend. Hey, you patch everything yourself here? Yes. yes. Does anybody oh. ask you to carry any goods for a day? Uh, all right. Yes. That's it. OK. Do you have food in your bag? No, I have this in my bag. Sorry? I have this in my bag, yeah. There's nothing in it, I just have pies. The man produces a small cannabis pipe. An officer suspect he's a drug user. Despite proclaiming their innocence, the results from the drug swab test are alarmingly high. It's very, very high. We need, to, we need to look at this a bit more, I think. The bag is swabbed again in a different place to see if the readings are consistently high. This time, there's a small trace reading for cocaine and heroin. Have you been through the bag at all? Uh, uh, basic, so I haven't gone through every single item, as in really scrutinised it. Yeah, I'll take you in for a rub down, see how you go. Officers yeah. decide to take their search to the next level to see if he's got any drugs on his body. Okay, basically, as you can see, the... If you just, yeah. just... Yeah, I just need someone to explain yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So you can see everything's being done above board. So what we want to do now is to bring you in for a search. Okay, yeah, well, so, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, well, I wish we have to yeah, yeah, carry on, yeah. Okay. The man is led to a private room where he admits he's been stopped before. I got stopped on the way um, out as well. He, he just, well, he stopped me for 10 minutes. I suppose, that was it. Despite a thorough search, he's not found to be carrying any drugs. So officers try another check on his shoes. But no further traces of drugs are found from the shoes, and officers are happy he's not a smuggler. Right, that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you like say it's all, all done like no, that? No, I bought it. Have you just for uh, for, for my benefit? What you do is entirely up to well, you. I've but have you, you, you done, have you done a bit no, of gear, a bit no, of Charlie? Or something like that? No, I no. can't. No, I well, just had a medical about three months ago. Right. Back, so I can't. Right. Okay. He was rubbed down. And so there was nothing on him of customs interest, nothing that would indicate any further drugs on his body or anything like that. He said he recently had a medical which he said he doesn't use drugs at all. So from our point of view, we're quite happy for him to proceed. The traces in the man's bag are put down to contamination and the couple are free to leave. At Gatwick Airport, officers have been drawn to a couple who've been behaving suspiciously. Thank you. At the immigration desk, the woman in white is asked to remove her sunglasses for passport verification. Her partner in the red shirt at the desk next to her is allowed to proceed. Eventually, she too is allowed through. But Officer Chris has reasons to doubt their legitimate travellers. The fact they changed their date of return uh, to come back by a week, to us, it, they look quite nervous. Down at Immigration, they acted very sort of uh, strange. They sort of try going the wrong exit. The couple separate as they exit the baggage reclaim area. Typical behaviour of passengers with something to hide. Two of you together. Yeah. Have you got your passports and tickets? How long have you been out there for? Oh, 17, 18 days. Okay. Hold the day. Suspicion grows that they could be hiding the real reason for their trip. All right, you've your own bags? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Nobody's given you anything to bring back at all, have they? Okay, let's have a quick few bags in your way. But it seems the man doesn't want his case to be searched. I've got the key in that one, of course. Oh, right, how come you've got the key? Yeah. If the keys aren't found by the time the other suitcase has been searched, the padlock will be forcibly removed. A small trace of cocaine is detected from the first suitcase. 
So Officer Pete decides to remove the padlock from the other one. Surprisingly, it's almost empty. I just got to x-ray this bag, OK? It just looks nervous. This is so light. They're acting so nervous. The bag is checked for any hidden concealments. Doesn't look like promising either, does it? There's nothing in the bag that we can find, but the things like they, they didn't have the lock for the padlock was a bit unusual. Um, the fact where they've come from as well just gives us grounds to, to go to the next sort of level of the search. How did you finance the trip? Hard statement. This remains doubtful given neither of the couple currently work. This is our reward for putting through this year. Right, OK. The questioning starts to make the man defensive. Yeah, it's an expensive trip um, for somebody who's, who's not working, OK? Uh, unfortunately, I understand that. But it's not just here the couple have aroused suspicion. All right. I'm afraid I will have to ask for to rub down searches on both of you anyway, OK? Now we're going to go to the search of person. If we don't find anything in there, we find sort of additional factors from the search, we'll think again about what we're going to do. Both passengers are taken to separate rooms and searched individually to see if they're carrying any drugs on their bodies. I'm just trying to see if there's any traces in the shoes to establish if she's a swan If passengers are carrying drugs internally, traces are often excreted through the sweat glands in feet. The woman's shoes come back clear. With no hard evidence found on her, she's released to await the outcome of her partner. He's going to pat you down, basically. Okay. I see this hold your feet here as well. I think we're just about done. Surprisingly, nothing is found on the male passenger either. Despite their erratic behaviour and very unusual story, the couple are free to go. They're actually very, very nervous. So we're marching up and down the right and centre. There was a change with the booking of the tickets. He was unemployed. How did he afford a holiday like that with, with no job? Although their conduct still remains suspicious, Officer Pete has no option but to accept their version of events. I don't know what it was about, but uh, as, as he said, it was uh, a holiday to celebrate being unemployed, and that was, that was it.